Hello, I'm Greg Friedlander. I'm accelerating this video because I speak slowly and I want to cover as much information as possible without taking up much of your time. We have completely redesigned the atom. By doing so, we have a better understanding of fusion and fission. We've defined faster than light travel and identified where it exists. And we've opened up a pathway for an entirely new age of science. We're going to put this in context by defining time for the first time. At CWI, we understand what time is and therefore we can control time. This simple slide shows all of the math in the universe. It shows how the math comes together in order to deliver the experience that we see. Rather than cover the mathematics in depth, references made to the early papers which are largely accurate and which can be found at the website for CWI. Dimensions build, and as they build, more information is compressed into each subsequent dimensional state, which we call CT states since there's no pre-AUT equivalent. The first three CT states are what we experience as space and occur in a pre-time environment. They are dimensional changes changes without changes in time. Simply put, time, which has been a mystery since before history was recorded, is nothing more complicated than stop frame animation from pre-time dimensional state changes. Beginning at what we would call the photon, there's a sufficient amount of information for us to experience the changes, and those dimensional changes together are what we experience as time. There are three dimensional states that are pre-time, and the preponderance of these pre-time elements and photons makes photons appear time-free, and the squeezing out of these elements makes black holes appear to be outside of time, but both of those effects are an illusion. The first four dimensions are represented here. This shows a few hundred solutions of f pi x graphed against x, which is quantum change. One can see the stacking of these solutions in two forms. The bottom form of stacking shows four stacks of 5,000 points representing a matrix of 25 million squares, and one can see to the left in the bottom row how a flattened globe of similar appearance can compress into a three-dimensional globe. But how do we know the AUT definition of time as stop frame animation is accurate? First, time and space are interchangeable. They have to be the same thing. Second, the math of gravity, force, energy, and dimensional compression work. We see the relevant compression in the form of the denominator of pi, the effects of spiral compression and decompression at every level of the universe, adding an unexpected degree of accuracy to Marcus Vitruvius's concept of man. All the forces, including gravity, arise from compression of information between what we call CT states. The first three states are essentially time-free. The scale of gravity corresponds to the mass-energy conversion as well as to the strong force. One can also see this in the relative scale of the neutron, a CT4 state, to the compression size of a minimum size black hole which is a CT5 state. Transitional states, such as electrons, lead to intermediary forces, which also correspond in scale to the size of those intermediary states. This reconciles the force of gravity with the other forces, and if it appears to be too simple, it's also worth noting that this is a very simple explanation of what time is. The universe as a matter of logic should arise from relatively simple mathematics, and it does. Gravity appears instantaneous and universal in range because it occurs in a pre-timed state. We see the net effect of gravity, and we see the net effect of anti-gravity, which is unfolding as dark energy. The universe as a whole is unfolding. The universe at the location that we live in within gravity wells appears to be folding. The absorption of space and the spewing of higher CT states, which gives rise to the net gravity gravitational fields we experience on Earth and to the electromagnetic fields that protect us go outside of this lecture but can be found in other writings on this topic. The dimensional changes giving rise to time occur in a pre-time environment without dimension at the CT1 level which allows all points in the universe to change together based on a single variable of x without reference to the effective separation caused by entanglement and compression of individual points. In summary, Change is quantum, 1, 2, 3, etc., and is unrelated to time, even though time arises because of quantum change. Waves and Schrodinger type observations arise from pre time changes viewed from the standpoint of time. For any value of x, Schrodinger's cat is only at one place. Once time is applied, the cat appears to occupy multiple locations. Below the level of time, every point changes at exactly the same rate and with each change in the same x. But fused quantum information changes based on the f pi x number for the point in question separate them and folding puts remote solution points in proximity to one another. Fractal identical results are a consequence and the 5 T12 arm electron 
being less folded, is bigger than the contained proton within it. And indeed, the black hole is smaller still than the surrounding galaxies, even though it holds a comparable amount of information to an entire galaxy. The function of the fractals is identical. The neutron absorbs CT1 and spews out higher CT states, giving motion to the atom and allowing it to act in a gravitational fashion without continually increasing its mass and a black hole functions in an identical fashion, although it does spew a higher CT state than a neutron, in this case, visible light. More information on the math and results can be found, found in the audio and written books under the title Algorithm Universe, available on Amazon. These do not include the advances after February of 2019, but the basic math and structure of the model are given in those books in more detail than appears here. If you want more time to look at the science, that's a good place to start. What are the ramifications of this science? What falls aside is the standard model in relativity, two casualties of approximation replaced with the certainty of AUT. AUT affects everything from new information on the function of the atom up through all of chemistry and physics. It allows us to view the past and predict the future in a new and more precise way. It doesn't just allow us to understand time, it allows us potentially to control all aspects of the universe. I'm Greg Friedlander. Thank you for attending this lecture. Please like and subscribe.